Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 10, Measures of Central Tendency on Median. Please pay your attention on the board. There are formulas. You have to notice this portion attentively. See, median. Median means central value. If n is odd, that means number of observation, if it is given in odd number, then median equal to n plus 1 by 2, eighth observation, that is not answer. In that observation, you have to count and that variable will be median. If n is even, that is number of observation, then median n by 12th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation divided by 2. This you have to remember. Quartile, that is 4 equal parts. Observation you have to divide into 4 equal parts. That is lower quartile, it is also known as first quartile. And upper quartile, it is known also third quartile. It is denoted by Q1, it is denoted by Q3. In case of odd number, this is the uh, formula. In case of even, that is the n by fourth observation. In case of upper, that is in case of odd, that is 3 into n plus 1 by fourth observation. And 3n by, by fourth observation in case of even. Now, interquartile range, that is Q3 minus Q1. Q3 minus Q1 and semi interquartile range that is Q3 minus Q1 by 2. Semi that is half. These are the formula you have to remember. On this, one sum is given. If you understand one sum, then any sum in this chapter you can do yourself. Please pay your attention on the board. The sum is written here clearly. You have to follow the sum attentively. This is the solution. Arranging the given variates in ascending order. These are the variates, that is variables. We have to arrange in ascending order first. Then we have to make cumulative frequency table. That is heights, number of students, that is frequency. And this is cumulative frequency. 151 is the lowest, 151 to 157. And this number of students you will get from here, by looking the sum, you have to write this number of students. And cumulative frequency that is 6 and 9, that is 6 plus 3, that is 9, 9 plus 12, that is 21. In this way, we have to find out cumulative frequency. Then we have to find out the median. Median that is here, n, that is number of observation, n, that is 50, which is even. In case of even this formula, that is in, in case of even the median equal to n by 12th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation by 2. After writing the formula, we have to put the relevant values. Here value of n that is 50, here also 50. After writing, we have to calculate this is the 25th observation, this is the 26th observation. This portion you have to notice that in the 25th observation. This is the 9th and this is the 21. That is 25th observation. In this uh, observation, what's the variable? That is 154. 154. 25th observation, 154. 26th observation, that is, is coming here. That is 35. That is 155. 25th observation, that is 155. After writing the variables from the observation, then we have to simplify. By simplifying, we are getting 154.5, that is the median. This answer is completed. Now we have to find out the lower quartile. Lower quartile, that is in case of even. This is 50 even. This is why lower quartile, that is the n. Uh, n by 4 in case of even. After writing the formula, then we have to put the uh, value. After putting and simplify 12.5 observation, 12.5 observation that is uh, coming here, 21 in this observation, that is 153, 153. Upper quartile, after writing the formula, then we have to put the value. After simplifying, we are getting 37.5 observation 35 37 that is this observation 156 156 
this observation you have to notice that in Kimberley, you have to understand this part clearly. Then interquartile range that is Q3 minus Q1 after putting the value we are getting 3 and semi interquartile range that is 3 by 2 equal to 1.5. Very simple if you remember the formula uh, then easily you can do the sum yourself. Okay, thank you everybody.